thanks to all the Gaffney folks that came out to watch us play, and uh, thanks to ZZQ for having us on again. It's uh, it was a terrific win, led by uh, a really good group of seniors that have uh, taken this program and uh, they're taking us all for a ride right now. We're really excited. Uh, we sat down with, with this group uh, at the end of last year before they left for the summer and uh, started talking about how we were going to get back to where we wanted to be. And, and they set the standard and set the expectations. Um, they had a, a summer program that, that allowed them to communicate uh, all summer long and, and what are you doing and this is what I'm doing and follow me and we read a book called Legacy which is an awesome book uh, on leadership and the, the All Blacks which is a New Zealand uh, rugby club one of the uh, most successful professional sports organizations in the world and uh, so we all read that together uh, and these guys had, and Tyler can tell you more about it but they had uh, kind of weekly conversations through their group chats and all that stuff that I don't understand. I call it Twitter and they laugh at me. Uh, but they had, you know, communications about leadership and where they wanted to take this thing. And they, they're taking me along for the ride, and, and that's true. So. You know, like Coach said, we, we hold ourselves to a standard. And last year we fell below that standard. And, you know, the guys came back and just felt like we have to get this right again. You know, our whole team came back and was like, you know, we let our alumni down, we let our coaches down. We have to get this back to where it belongs. You know, it starts with seniors like, like Dylan Brown and, you know, junior Kendall Collins. They, they play a big part in this. You know, they're out there every day pushing guys to be their best. We have to restore the order. Like, we have to get this back to where we were. A lot of guys on the team have been to a national championship, which is fortunate. And restore the order was just what we came up with. You know, guys every single day coming in, we're working this hard. Why, like, why are we doing this? You know, that's something we talk about is why are we here? We're here right now to restore the order. And I think a big thing is, you know, after Sunday's game, guys, we're talking about you'd think we're 20, you know, okay, the order is, is restored. You know, a big guy, Larson Sundown, came in after the game and said, we know the order is not restored yet. And I think that's the mindset that this team has is we're not there yet. We, we still have work to do. Uh, so, you know, just kind of casual Friday night after a basketball game. Um, I wasn't feeling well for the week, you know, I was just kind of falling asleep in class and stuff, so my mom was like, right, let's just go to the doctor, because my best friend at the time had had mono, so went to the doctor, okay, let's go get some tests done, um, go get blood tests for mono, came back negative, so my doctor was like, all right, let's just check for a pneumonia, make sure my chest is all good, went and got a chest x-ray, and uh, we were sitting there, and the phone rings, like, like, oh, it's your pediatrician, my mom's like, okay, like, I'll take the call. And I was sitting there with my dad, and the next thing you know, my mom just kind of broke down. So at that time, you know, ninth grade, I'm like, I'm, what's going on? So uh, my pediatrician told my mom that they'd found a mass in my chest, and like I said, this was on a Friday. So uh, they said, Monday, you'll, we'll see you at Stony Brook. We have to do some more, some more testing. I mean, at, at first, it was kind of like, you know, what's, what's going to happen to me? You know, you hear of cancer at that age, and you're like, you think of death immediately you know but uh fortunately my community was amazing around me you know i had people coming to my house day in and day out you know there for me supporting me getting lacrosse sticks made with tie will win on it you know fundraisers with thousands of shirts being sold that said tie will win so you know at, at that point it was like you know what i can't let these people down all these people are here for me you know what? it's my job right now to win for them well, the uh, NCAA is going to broadcast the game this weekend, so you can find that on NCAA.com. It will also be linked on our website, uh, GoLimestoneSaints.com. Uh, live stats will be on there, and then we'll also be doing an audio broadcast on GoLimestoneSaints.com. Through, through, through the website. And again, uh, that website address is GoLimestoneSaints.com. Uh, we'll also have it on our Limestone College website, Limestone.edu. Um, so click one of those websites, and it will take you directly to that webcast uh, that the NCAA puts on. And, um, but uh, we'll leave Thursday morning. We'll practice today and tomorrow at 1 o'clock. We'll do a lot of meeting and, and eating, <laughs> uh, really. But uh, we'll leave Thursday morning. We'll stop about halfway to Philadelphia, a little bit less than halfway in Roanoke, Virginia, and practice uh, at Roanoke College. They've been kind enough, not enough to allow us there. So we'll get up there uh, Thursday night. Friday we'll practice uh, at Drexel University, who's one of the hosts uh, of this uh, event. And then Saturday morning before the Division I semifinals, We'll have our practice time in uh, Lincoln Financial Field, which is always exciting. The guys, big wide eyes, as you can imagine. Uh, and then we, you know, fuel up, meet a few more times, and get ready for the game to start at 1 o'clock on Sunday.